Public participation in scientific research, also known as crowdsourcing in citizen science, offers you the opportunity to make a huge difference in scientific discovery and in society. Let's see just how public participation in scientific research works by exploring projects that were highlighted in an NSF-funded public television series called Crowd in the Cloud. In this project, the Community Collaborative Rain, Hail and Snow Network, called COCORAS, with funding from NSF and NOAA, started when scientists realized that they needed more weather stations to better predict weather events. Now over 20,000 people make daily measurements of rain, hail and snow. These measurements made by members of the public are added to official weather station measurements to inform the emergency warning system of the National Weather Service. These data also help farmers, ranchers, engineers, and others make more informed decisions. Coco Ross is just one example of a citizen science project in which more data from more places leads to better decision making for communities, industries, and government. As part of the Globe Observer Project, with funding from NSF and NASA, volunteers download the Mosquito Mapper app and track where mosquitoes breed. This helps determine where different types of mosquitoes are found. With these data, communities can monitor what diseases may occur in their neighborhoods and what can be done to limit mosquito breeding sites. This is an example of how public participation in scientific research can help address complex problems at both local and global scales. Projects like crowdsourcing games, with funding from NIH, NSF, and other federal agencies, bring together cutting-edge computational technologies with human creativity to address scientific problems. These images were produced through the joint efforts of people who play iWire, an internet-based crowdsourcing game in which players trace neurons across images of the brain to determine how neurons connect and process information. In other online crowdsourcing games such as Folded and Eterna, gamers play to figure out the 3D structures and interactions of biomolecules, which can lead to new discoveries in therapeutics. All of these projects build on decades of scientific and technical research funded by numerous federal agencies. Public participation in scientific research is available to everyone. If you're interested in how crowdsourcing and citizen science projects impact society, visit crowdandcloud.org to watch all four episodes. If you want to join a project, visit citizenscience.gov and scistarter.com to find opportunities that fit your interests. You are invited to participate in science through a project online or near you to help build a better, more informed society.